And that's his part. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Happened. Oh dear. True life. I'm a YouTuber. Bienvenidos muses, I am back with a new video. Today's video, I'm giving you guys all the secrets. I'm dishing it all out because I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me what lighting I'm using, what camera I'm using, software equipment I'm using, where I get my backdrops, and I'm here to give it all away. Like, I have no reason to keep it away. Hold on, I have a hair on my face, it's bothering me. Okay, I'm hot. Yeah, I also sacrifice AC while I'm filming videos because uh, you're gonna hear it and it's annoying. So for me, people need to understand that I live in a pretty decent sized room. My room isn't like big. I just have a bed, my vanity, my studio that I had to compromise my long mirror for. But it's okay. It's, it's a mirror. I gave it to Wong. It's fine. I could just go in his room whenever. But this video is going to be extremely informative for those who want to create their at-home studio and they just don't know where to start. I'm here to give you all the answers. I'm here to give you all the tea, all the scoop. I'm dishing it all out. If you guys enjoy tech videos and you're super excited about this video, give this video a like from the jump. Yeah. Y vamos a comenzar. El video de hoy lo voy a enseñar. Le voy a dar toda la información que necesite, que es necesario para comenzar, para tener un estudio en su casa. Para lo que para lo que no sabían, yo hago mi video en mi cuarto, mi cuarto chiquitico, ¿ok? O pequeño, para que no me moleste mami, para que me digan no deja chiquito. Pero mi cuarto es pequeño y yo tengo que poner todo lo todo todo lo que tengo en mi cuarto, es todo lo que necesito para trabajar. Yo decidí que tenía que sacrific sacrificar algunas cosas para tener todo lo que yo quería, pues. Mi cuarto se ha puesto más pequeño porque tengo mis luces aquí, tengo mi backdrop, tengo mi cámara y estas cosas son grandísimas. Pues no puedo ponerlo en un storage, mi storage en mi cuarto. Pues tenía que sacrific sacrific sacrificar espacio para tener y darle a ustedes un estudio o videos que yo creo que se vean, que se luzan bien. Si ustedes quieren comenzar un YouTube channel o quieren hacer algo en fotografía, yo creo que este video le vas a, lo vas a ayudar. Le voy a decir qué cámara yo uso, qué luces yo uso, qué micrófono yo uso, uso qué backdrops yo uso, de dónde lo compro, todo en este video. Si ustedes están un ching excited, si están excited de ver este video, dale un like, compártalo con los amigos y sus amistades y no se, no se olviden a suscribir a mi canal y vamos a comenzar. First things first, in order to start a successful YouTube channel and you know you want it to look a certain way, equipment is key. Do not go in debt. Trying to keep it with the Joneses. I just had a panel yesterday and it was so successful and I'm kind of repeating myself and I didn't realize how much this information isn't out there for you guys and you always ask me about my lighting. So first things first, work with what you have. I'm working right now with either two cameras. Doesn't mean you need to get these, but goals. Set goals for yourself, okay? So maybe you should want to start by setting a goal. The goal for me was to go from a 70D Canon, this is what I'm working with right now, to go from here to a 5D Mark III. Now, those two cameras are genius. Do not shoot for the stars and get a 5D Mark III. The camera's like $3,500. I, listen, that camera's expensive. And it's worth it, but it's not necessary. If you're a, you know, a tech junkie like myself, you'll get it eventually, and that's something that I had to set a goal for me. But the 70D has automatic focus, so I can literally go here. Hold on, make sure the lighting is good. So I can go from here to here, and the lighting is still good. All right, so that's like that's you're always like, oh my god, how do the people always like be able to say, okay, guys, this is the lipstick? I don't know. You were like, how you know, I'm using this product. That's how they do it. They have a, a 70D or a camera that automatically focuses. I love this camera because if you guys know that I'm always working with my brother, but if he's not home, I can literally turn on this camera and it automatically focuses on me. And I'm using a 50 millimeter lens. I tend to use sometimes this lens, which is the Sigma, Quale? Sigma 17 50 millimeters. So it goes from 50 millimeter to 17 millimeters. The only issue I have with this lens is you can hear it when it's focusing. So the camera's auto-focusing. With this lens, you hear the ch -ch 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 -ch. It irritates the crap out of me. So with the 50 millimeter lens, I don't have to worry about hearing no noise. 
it really just gets the job done and it's a beautifully made camera there's really no reason to say oh my god the camera's not no no, no the camera's genius and I'll never give it up the reason I got a 5d mark 3 was because I wanted a full frame camera which would be a little bit wider and it also helps my brother out with his photography so for me in order to film my videos I'm gonna really break down equipment so this is me recording on my camera so what I see, I get to see myself on my bed. I usually have it right in front of me, but I'm really lazy today and I'm trying not to look over there, but that's how I see myself. You never really want to go through, go by what's being shown on the camera lens because on the camera lens, it looks a little bit washed out and overexposed. So it's always important when you can, or you can use this with any laptop that you do have, but it's important to get an, a, like a cord or a USB cord that can connect from your camera, this is a 70D Canon, to your computer. What's shown on your computer is typically what's going to, what it's going to look like when you transfer the files. If I go by what's only on that screen that you're seeing right now, I would think I look overexposed. And it's better to look overexposed than underexposed. So I typically get these backdrops from Amazon and they're like $30. Because it kind of shows dimension. I also have like some backdrops that I use. Like this is one that I really love. This is like the orange one that you guys always see me use. Here's another one that I really, really do love as well. This is a yellow backdrop. And this was really big. This one was like nine feet and I had to cut it to like fit to my backdrop. I wish you guys could see it. Hopefully I'm getting it on camera. I don't know, but whatever. So when you walk into my room, you're literally, this is like room, this is like the only space I have. And then bed, dresser, tea. no, don't show that because it's a mess. So this is my wall. And I go up here, I don't know if you see me, and this is where I put all of my backdrops. Like, I literally have safety, safety pins, so you guys can see, like, it's literally a white wall, a bunch of holes in it, you know, but it's okay. I don't even know if this is, like, centered, centered, but I'm short, and that's as far, ah, okay, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, you see? This is what happens. Oh dear. True life, I'm a YouTuber. Okay. Pow! There you have it, okay? So this is what I'm working with every time I walk into my room. All these bad boys, here they are. These, I go to B&H and get them. I'll go on Amazon. I don't remember the calculations, but I'll put them down below for you guys to have them as well. Moving on to lighting. We're gonna get a little weird because I have to move. So I am working with this camera here, I mean this camera, this light, so it got a little dark, I'm sorry. I have a ring light here and a ring light here. This one, okay, this one's from Stellar Lighting and I believe I got it for $175. This is my first camera that I got, first camera. This was my first ring light that I got when I started to YouTube. I only had this guy here and it was my baby, as you can see, it's already like breaking down. But the longevity of it has been absolutely amazing. I mean, I've, I got it four years ago, almost five years ago. And then this one I got, I would say, I, this one I got around last year. I would say last year, and I got this one for B&H for $100. And the reason I like this one low-key better than, than the Stellar, duh, this one has, it's bigger. So you have more lighting that comes in. This one is a little bit more direct, so you have the rings that go around your eyes. Sorry, my but it's two of my favorites then if we look down sorry trying to still give you guys lights you see like how the lighting is like amazing once we put it on so it's really ghetto and we use a lot of like what we have already i have under me a garbage can and i put one soft box under me that gives me a light that comes up I love this technique. I don't know where I got it from. I just decided, listen, I'm dark skin. Studio lighting can either be my best friend or my enemy, and it's my best friend. Okay, so I have these studio lights, and the company that it's called, I'm not, I don't remember what's it called, but it's called Studio Pro. You can get these on Amazon for like around $175 as well. I had Cowboy before, don't like it. The light bulbs, the setup, it's just not tangible. It breaks down. Studio Pro, is the business okay so studio pro are the two or have three so i have two lights up here 
I'll get my, I'll get my phone, babe. Alright. Shout out to my cousin who's like helping me out. So I have two lights here. I have one light here. And I have one light here. So in total, in total, I'm working with five lights. It's a lot, but because my room is all white, the lighting in here, it comes out so amazing and I don't have to worry about ever looking too dark, yellow. For my settings on my camera, I stick to auto and I love, I love getting backdrops that has stuff on it because the second you are with a 50 millimeter lens, the aperture or I don't know how to get into specifics about like aperture and how many numbers because Juan does that stuff. But for the most part, any backdrop that has some sort of, um, texture or dimension or depth you want to get uh, backdrops on amazon that have depth or any backdrop that has glitter flowers i don't know graffiti those types of things because when you use the 50 millimeter lens it's going to show like you're in this huge space when it's an illusion software the software i'm using to transfer the video files or to see myself on camera is called eos utility 2 I went on Canon.com I had to register my camera in order to get that program. I think you have to like register it somehow. I don't remember how I got that program, but the program is called EOS Utility 2. You can literally maneuver manually what's on your, like the settings. If you want to change the lighting, you could change it on there. If I wanted to take a picture, I can do it on there. It's genius. It's super reliable. If you can't have somebody take a button for you or take a picture for you, you can use that. Like, how do you take your own picture? I love, I got this wire thing here. Let me see if you guys can see it. It's pretty broken. Yes, it's pretty broken because, uh, yeah, Monica's a savage. What's new? Um, you can connect it to the side of your EOS 70D, and I'm going to show you how I do it. But if you want to take a picture of yourself, here's the button, and cheese. Slay. Pictures, and it's genius, like... Let me see, I'm working with a Rodeo mic. I'm not sure if it's the best mic in the world. I know the really, really good ones is like $230, but I ain't spending $230 right now. Like you guys hear me just fine. I'm pretty loud and I'm pretty clear. So I think that will help you out a lot. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more so you guys can really see. Okay guys, so this is my room. It doesn't take, you know, you don't need the biggest room in the world. You just need to compromise a few of, you know, the girly things. So no, there's no mirror here. Can't do that. Only thing I have is a vanity that's right behind my cousin. And that's about it. But for the most part, this is everything I need to work with to get my own a uh, resourceful way of having a studio you gotta I'm not gonna run out of studio when I could just convert my entire room into a studio I gave you everything you need to start a YouTube channel you have the lighting equipment you have the software equipment for software oh my god we didn't really even touch software software I am using Final Cut Pro if you guys want me to break down how I edit my videos and the lighting how I co color correct on my videos because a lot of people don't understand that color correcting is what makes your videos never I'm not gonna say never because I don't know how other people do their videos, but you will never catch me dead just using what the video looks like into a YouTube video. You need to adjust the lighting. Depending on the color, the backdrops you have, you need to adjust the temperature in your skin. And it's really important if you're, you know, a, a perfectionist and a junkie like myself when it comes to tech stuff. But I kind of learned all of this, guys, on YouTube, but I never was able to find someone who I can say, hey girl, how can I do this? Here it is. Here you have it. All my secrets, all of my, you know, advice to start a channel. I hope your videos, I hope this video is helpful for you so you can start one today or you can have a goal like, okay, Monica said these products are what works for her and it's legit what I use. But I hope this video is helpful. Give this video a big thumbs up. Déjenme saber si este video lo ayudó a ustedes. Para los que quieran comenzar un canal en YouTube y no saben cuáles son las luces necesario, necesario o las cámaras all the backdrops le di todo eso I gave you guys everything I use I don't I am not one to hold information back from other people it's something that I don't think it's smart you know I really would love for all of us to be able to look on YouTube be on YouTube and be like girl we all look good together so let me know down below if this video was helpful give it a big thumbs up for tech videos and uh love you in the next video adios